Okay, my question is, what do you think it means to be a part of a team? What are you learning about that? Um, I think being a part of a team means that you, you subject yourself to one another, um, which requires a lot of humility. It's not always like the leader, uh, the official leader, who is telling everybody what to do, but um, which obviously that's helpful, but, but there is so much um, um, submission that has to happen amongst the team. And that requires, um, yeah, that requires so much humility when that happens. When it does, it's really beautiful because I think that's really when teamwork happens is when everybody's listening to each other and truly wanting to learn from each other, not just top down, but your peers as well. Okay, next question. What do you think it means to be? So this is the same question. Who is someone on the team who has been blessing you? What happened? Describe it to us. Um, uh, I would say uh, Chris Jones has been a blessing to me. Yesterday, he came up to me and really encouraged me to um, share uh, more then I, I share in certain instances, sometimes when I'm asked to share something spiritual, I share something very surface level. And um, instead of sharing like what I would, the depth of what I was actually thinking. Um, for instance, like uh, with, I was asked, why did you choose the team for volleyball that you chose? I said, height, I chose it based on height. And that's not the reason. That's not like the deep reason. The, <laughs> the, the deeper reason was actually, I based it all based on personality. But I was afraid of, as being perceived as holier than now because that wasn't everybody else's answer. And I was like, I'm going to stand out as that guy who's like, you know, I chose it based on personality because I and, and team dynamic and the people I really want to care. I care about and want to connect with. And nobody else said that. Now I'm going to feel like I'm making them feel bad for um, for not doing that because they just want to win and I don't care about that. And so it was really like, it's a fear of being perceived as trying to be holier than now that sometimes holds me back from going into depth of my actual thought process. So anyway, so Chris was really helpful. He reminded me like, um, cause he caught on to that <laughs> and, uh, he reminded me that I needed to, uh, to get over myself, really, and to do that, and to to be more vulnerable about the depth of my my spiritual thoughts. Next question. Let's see how much time we got. Okay. Next question. You've been hearing lots of stories and testimonies of God's working power, wonder working power. What does it make you think about? How has it affected you? Uh, hearing all these stories has been in, incredibly helpful. I have a lot of wonder working stories that I have uh, been a part of or witnessed um, in some way, especially in college. Um, I had my spiritual transformation when I was 19 and um, it was a really formative experience, obviously. And there were a lot of radical things that happened, a lot of miracles in a setting where miracles were not uh, welcomed or expected. And so, and I was a part of this group where we all like pray for each other and we were seen as the freaks on campus essentially. And um, so hearing these stories really remind me of that. So I'm forced to face, I'm forced to face my memories um, in, in, in a way that I'm so thankful for. I'm really, I'm really happy that I, I am facing those memories and that they're, I think, um, reigniting a passion in me to be more intentional about praying for those specific things. Um, I've been probably a bit too passive in my uh, desire for those things. And I think the Lord's like, no, no, you need to be um, pursuing these gifts, uh, actively pursuing these gifts, as Paul tells us. Who is someone? Okay, I already did that one. Has someone said something to you that you'll never forget? What was it? How did it happen? Why is it important? That has not happened yet. Okay. What is prayer to you and has your experience on this trip changed your perspective? No. 